Yay! Okay. So just so you know, this these aren't pajamas. This is just this is a regular hoodie kind of thing you can wear outside. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I got some jokes set aside for you guys. Um, amongst all the girls in my group, you know, my friend group, they all have nicknames for each other based on you know Disney princesses. Uh, so for instance, one of them is Cinderella. They call her Cinderella because whenever they go out for the night, she somehow never makes it back home with both of her shoes. It's just a thing. Um, <laughs> the other girl they call Rapunzel because she takes like 20 minutes to get ready because of her hair. Uh, so there's that. Uh, one of the girls they call Belle, she's older. Uh, they call her Belle because her husband has to get his uh, back waxed like once a month. He's just, he, <laughs> he is ridiculously, ridiculously hairy. Um, then there's another girl they call Jasmine. Uh, she's single, and the reason why they call her Jasmine is because like every guy she tries to date is intimidated that she has way more money than them. So you know, there's that. Um, one of the girls they call Ariel because she's like she's really shy, so she'll go like 20, 30 minutes without talking to anybody. <clears throat> and um, the other girl they call Snow White because she's like really pale, like fair skinned, and um, oh, because she slept with seven dudes in one night. So. <laughs> You know, there's, there's that, yeah. It's crazy. I realize why the dating scene is probably way easier out where you guys are than here in the U.S. Because, like, guys are so self-conscious about their penis size. Because in the U.S., you know, the average penis is, like, six inches. But out there, it's 15 centimeters. I mean, that's double digits. That's, that's massive. You're like, I'm walking around with, like, a good 15, 16 out here. We're like, what are you talking about? Are you are you like in porn? That's incredible. How do you walk? And then, and then, you know, women women are way less self conscious than they are in the U.S., right? Because here, a woman's like, oh my god, I like I weigh 130 pounds. Like, oh my, that's so much. But out there, like that same girl only weighs like 59 kilograms. Like, it's less than 60. It's slender. It's sleek. It's aerodynamic. It's hot. It's good. And then, you know, like it's like I said, it's easier for you guys to be very self-confident in the dating scene. Like as here in the U.S., we would say, you know, teeth are crooked, uh, but there it's just hereditary, you know. Um, anyway. <laughs> that's, that's it, you know, it's passed down from generations to generations. My grandfather also could not bite into an apple. Um, so I, I was at the insectarium. Um, you know, because I'm just wild like that. I went to the insectarium. This is true. This is true. It's a smart joke, but I believe in you guys because, you know, English people are way smarter than us. Um, okay. At the insectarium, they have a butterfly garden, which you can see from the outside. You know, it's one of the things that like brings people in, especially guys that are looking to do low cost dates for women. Anyway, so before you walk into the butterfly garden, they tell you that butterflies are very fragile. I don't know if you, you guys know this, their wings are very fragile. So they'll say, look, the butterflies can land on you. That's okay. The butterflies can touch you. That's okay. But please do not touch the butterflies. And it was in that moment that I realized why so many strippers have tattoos of butterflies. Like it makes total sense. You know, because like the short lifespans. Anyway, um, <laughs> so my friend is like pretty woke. Um, she loves to tell us all the time how much more knowledgeable she is about everything than we are. Uh, just means she watches the news more often than any of us because we're too busy living in the life. Anyway, um, so she, she has a five-year-old son and um, the subject of identity, you know, came up and she's like, how do you identify? And he answered. So now she has to find a school that has special bathrooms for dragons. Um, I mean, he doesn't have wings and he doesn't breathe fire, but who am I to say that he's not a dragon? I'm not a wizard, right? Are you a wizard? Are you qualified to distinguish dragons? I don't think so, okay. Um, one of my other friends is a doomsday prepper. Doomsday prepper. Uh, what, what, these are the people that have a bunch of conspiracy theories that they wallpaper their one of the living rooms with. It's, it's insane. So as a doomsday prepper, at any given time, she has three months worth of supplies. She is not a really big fan of her neighbor. Her neighbor's a hardcore gun enthusiast, okay? So at, if anything actually happens, 
Okay, he has a gun and all of her stuff. So <laughs> that's it. It's good for him. I mean, it's just cheaper that way. Guns are cheaper than three months worth of batteries and food. Uh, a few more jokes. Uh, they have all these toys that are coming out, like, you know, help kids understand the new world we live in. So there's a divorce Barbie. There's a divorce Barbie. So she comes with all of her accessories and all of Ken's accessories, uh, you know, all in the package. It's really nice. And then there's, there's a California Ken. Uh, he comes with all of Barbie's accessories. So, you know, San Francisco, that's how it works out there. True story. I grew up with two sisters and um, I was about 11 years old. My mom saw that I had Barbie dolls in my room, my sister's Barbie dolls. My mom saw that I took them from my sister and like snuck them in my room. She was very, very concerned for me. Okay. So she ended up getting me GI Joes. And I got to tell you, it was so challenging to masturbate to GI Joes. Um, it's crazy. Lucky for me, the Cobra Commander wears a mask, you know, and like a really large jacket. So I'm just like, there's a chick under there. I swear, just, just keep this imagination going. And then finally, um, there's this whole thing right now with like body count, women's body count. I think that's ridiculous. Look, as far as I'm concerned, as long as she's beautiful, fun, and ambitious, I don't care how many men she's killed. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> let's just, there's no point in digging that stuff up, you know? Let's just bury the past where it is. Because um, I, you know, I think I have a chance. Uh, relationships have just as much of a chance as I do of surviving. Anyway, you guys have been great. Thank you. So let me add myself a spotlight. Woo, hello.